Welcome to this very short video guys and in this video I'm going to take you through a very weird concept that's really going to help you position yourself as the leader in your space and it's really around the idea of creating a personal monopoly. So what most people in the design space do because this is what they're taught in university is to go out there and try to beat the competition, try to justify how you're 10% better than other designers, try to build a really impressive portfolio, work on your craft more, learn more skills in order to compete, compete, compete. It's like deciding to compete in the hot dog space by setting up a hot dog stall on a street that already has 11 other vendors or within a close proximity. It doesn't matter how good you are, your potential to do really well is impacted by the fact that there's a lot of people selling the exact same thing that you are and competition destroys profits. The way to get around this is to just very simply be the only person that does what you do. Okay, so work really hard at trying to create a product and a service for somebody specifically so that it cannot be comparable to anybody else in the space or the design space. So if we take that hot dog metaphor or analogy, how can you be the only taco stand on the street that has 12 other hot dog vendors? Because now, just because you've got a different product or service, right, you are likely to earn more than the three best-selling hot dog vendors just for the point that you're selling something that's meaningfully different. This is so much easier, not only from the standpoint that you now have no competition, but now people can't compare your price based on other people because they've got no reference point, because you're the only one selling what it is that you're selling. They now make a decision based on how valuable your thing is. The conversation in their head is, is it worth us investing this in order to move to Towards this instead of do I go with designer A, designer B, designer D, designer E, designer F, designer G, designer H, you get the point. So simply just focus on the clients that you're most passionate about, figure out why you're passionate about these guys, go all in on those guys and figure out what is it before they get to design that they need help with, what is it after design they need to get help with to move towards their goals and start thinking about what it is that you can add outside of design because every little piece that you add makes you competitively differentiated and it means that you're uncomparable to the rest of the market. Okay, this is the way to not compete. It's to build your own personal monopoly based on the clients that you're passionate about. If you run a design business and you're feeling the pinch of competing against others in the design space, uh, then feel free to just look at some of the links and resources that we have for you in the description, guys. Even if you never click on them, even if you never book a call or become a paying client of ours, that's not the point here. The point here is to just arm you with some really powerful ideas and mental models that have helped me build my own design business up to $800,000 per year, help 13 designers hit seven-figure run rates and over 140 hit six and multiple six-figure run rates as well. So hopefully you've got some value out of this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.